something like this should be in every man's tool bag. Why do you say that is because let's say we need to change out this outlet and we need to first cut the power to it, right? So like, let's say we want to put a GFI outlet here and now we now cut the power to this. So how do we find the breaker? So since we're in a small shed, we could just go one by one to cut all the power or we can use something like a circuit finder. So let me show you how this works. So in the kit, you got multiple things here, but today we're just working with these two devices. This is what plugs into the outlet so then it can transmit the signal. Go ahead and power it on and plug it into your outlet. Now, right now, this is transmitting a small signal over that electric circuit. So then you can use a receiver, something like this, to try and find it. So let's go ahead and power it on. We're gonna go breaker by breaker to see when it starts beeping. Oh, and it just found that breaker. Now we know what breaker it is, we can go ahead and power this off and we can safely turn that breaker off. Now, once we go back to the outlet, if you see the green light flashing, that means there's no more power to that outlet. Just to be sure, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna power it down and then power it back on and plug it back in to make sure it doesn't need to take any voltage or any power. And as you can see, it has no reading, so that power must be off, but I would use a third-party device just to double check. And that's how you can use a circuit breaker finder.